I know it's probably pretty shaky and ugly looking. I'm going to check out a fire all the way out here in Leewood and I don't know, you can't hear anything on the scanner, so it's like very dubious about this. But checking it out, we're here. So the, nobody was home except two dogs. The doggies got out okay and uh one of the homeowners came home and is taking care of them and nobody's going to the Red Cross tonight. And they got it knocked down pretty quickly. Well, the uh, this is an absolute pitch black darkness here. Well, not totally pitch black, but close enough. And this camera is, is uh, actually doing it, so I'll use this one. And yeah, you know, with a lot of the uh, police and fire departments going dark, meaning you can't hear them on a scanner, they're encoded. Sometimes the only way you can come out and get this stuff is you see it on pulse point or whatever, and then you um, you just have to do the legwork, I guess. But This is the uh, first time I've really been back here since the day. And the sign says, Kansas City Strong United. And uh, there's a uh, memorial over here. And, oh yeah, all the other media are here too. And I got some of my lights out from the memorial. It's my setup. I think we'll probably be <coughs> rubbing elbows with everyone else. <coughs> They're kind of matching the red, white, and blue theme of the lighting for Union Station. I think it's representative of the two teams. Here's the memorial. And I expect a lot of people will be coming here. I don't know. I may have to change my lighting. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. that there today we're trying out the other cafe Corazon here in Westport I see what this place is about Specified and uh, going home. There is a reason I'm delaying today going home, that is. And that's because it's large item pickup day, and the missus and the kids have done a tremendous job of cleaning out the basement and the garage, and I'm afraid I'll screw that up by going home finding it and then returning half the stuff to the basement so um, I'm a terrible pack rat there is one item though that if it's still there I think I will grab and that's my bicycle that I bought in 1993 and it's been sitting forever and it's been broken needs repair probably costs more than it's worth to fix but it's just sentimental value. Plus, you know, with me getting older, I'm afraid that if I get rid of the bike, I'll never get
get another bike again. So maybe it's just the thought of, I don't know, passing era, I don't know. I should get on the bike, but I've been, I've been wanting to get a recumbent bicycle forever since when I bought that, that Schwinn in 93, I bought it in Sedalia at Cecil's Cyclery when I was still in the Air Force. And that very day I rode it on the Katy Trail from Sedalia to Boonville and back. And I think the total mileage was somewhere around 70 miles. I was uh, very sore and, but it was a kind of a neat trip. You know, I stopped in a small town, can't remember, looked at a garage sale and I don't know, just sentimental. And uh, I've been kind of tossing and turning all night and thinking about it all day. And it's like, I don't know. I'm probably already too late. And if so, then it was meant to be, I guess. But I have just been like, uh, you know, I don't know. But uh, like I say, I, I should get a recumbent bicycle like I've planned forever. With my bad back, it'd probably be the best thing since you sit back on them. But um, problem with recumbents is they are and have always been very rare and uh, they're very expensive and to, to get a good one. And I've never even found one for sale like used at a halfway decent price. I mean, for what they are, it's probably whatever you pay for them is a decent price. But I don't know. It seems like recumbent bicycles are about the cost of a used car almost. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway. Memory lane. Nope, I'm too late. It's already gone. Boo-hoo. Well, I guess it was meant to be. All except for some wheels to a couch or something. <laughs>